Picture this, you're in history class, smart kid next to you flips his pages over really loudly to let everyone know that he's finished. Dumb kid next to you flips his pages over really loudly to let everyone know that he's failing again. Then boom, your whole class runs out the door and you know what they see? The classroom next to you just blown to smithereens. Just ash, dust, guts hanging everywhere and there's no one there except this one little kid in the center of the room who just discovered that he can create explosions from his body. Let's face it, if mutants were real, they'd be hunted down and killed. And I know some people are like, X-Men is so unrealistic. You know how fucking sick it would be to fucking have powers? Yeah, real sick until the arsehole from your high school era gets mind control powers and becomes the next purple man from Jessica Jones. Yeah. Great. Tell me it would be sick if your mother got in a car accident because some TikToker was changing the traffic lights for some views. And yes, I know the minority of a group of people doesn't represent the whole group. But have you lived in today's world? There are psychos out there. There are people out there who can't get along with other people because of the color of their skin. It's an organ. The color of an organ. Are you... What? And if you think that's bad, there's still people out there who care about who people marry. Unless it's a guy putting a wedding ring on his golden retriever's finger and just fucking it in his backyard. Or if there's a mother marrying her own son. Who cares? I... I don't... I don't understand. And if these people get their pussy so worked up about these little things, imagine what would happen if they saw a kid who looked like a devil and can vanish and appear anywhere. That kid's not surviving. Well, we will never have peace. In Sydney, we just had a bunch of 12 year olds assault old Asian women at a train station. Like guys, I'm gonna theorize we're pretty fucking far from being okay with having mutants around. Yeah, being a mutant will be so fucking sick, bro. Yeah, maybe if you can look like a human and be a human, because you can easily draw the short end of the stick. You can be Iceman and basically be a god, or you can be rogue and just not be able to touch another person ever again. There's literally a guy in the comics whose power is to be forgotten. You think that's sick to just be forgotten all the time? I'll tell you, it's not. And if you read Marvel's, one of the greatest Marvel comics of all time, not the fucking movie, you know that it would suck really hard to be a mutant. And if you read the Ultimate Spider-Man or just any of the Ultimate comics, you know it would suck probably even more to be a mutant there. They literally throw around the term mutant like it's a derogatory term and like a substitute for every minority group ever times 10. And if mutants were real, don't even get me started on flights and security. We already have Border Patrol camera crews just swarming old women who can't speak any English trying to get spices to the grandchildren and they have a locked up in the airport jail for God knows how long. So if mutants were real, they'd be extracting blood from us, testing if we have the X gene or something. And you know what? It wouldn't even matter because I guarantee you, whatever plane I get on, Magneto will just crumple it to just send the message to Professor X or the government or something. By the way, you can't tell me that if Professor X's school for the gifted actually exists in real life, it wouldn't just be bombed immediately by the government or radicalists. That's like telling the KKK that there's a school just harboring and raising all the ethnic kids in the world. Like, I'm, I don't think they're gonna let that go. They probably wouldn't even be patient to make a bomb. They probably just try to storm that shit with their fucking burning cross. I don't know what the KKK does. Andy, why are you being so political? I thought this video was gonna be about the X-Men dislike. You have to understand one thing. No one gives a shit about you. That little thing you have, there's something for it. It's called therapy. And and any comic fan will tell you that the X-Men has always been political and have been about acceptance and whatever the fuck. Have you seen the big roster of X-Men? Like, look at that. Well, what, I, what I'm trying to say is don't be a piece of shit. Anyways, check out my Instagram, check out my second channel with vlogs and just other random stuff. I, I'll, I'll try to put more stuff there. I'll, I promise, I promise. Check out my music as well. And that's all I have for this week.